Hello everyone. This is not the video I wanted to make after a three month hiatus. But unfortunately, this is the video I find myself making. I am not happy. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to try and keep this positive, even though this is a negative rant. But I don't see it necessarily as negative. I see it as I will tell you why I don't think there is value in buying a Garmin and why you'd be better off spending your money elsewhere, which to me is a positive, right? Let's get into it. So. For my 40th birthday, my wife brought me a Garmin Instinct Solar. Lovely present, right? And for probably, well, it was around a year and a half, not probably, actually. After around a year and a half, when the phone vibrated, it would just turn itself off. So let's say you were out on a ride, um, somebody emailed you, you got a notification of that email, there'd be a little bit of a vibration in the phone, um, sorry, a little bit of a vibration in the watch, and the watch would just turn off, the screen would go blank. So I got home, and it looked as if loads of people had this issue, right? Like, loads of people um, had this issue where their Garmin Instinct was turning off when it vibrated. And everyone was speculating that it only started doing it after the latest firmware update, right? And I was thinking to myself, um, you know, oh, I'm kind of getting like a little bit of a warning here, right? I'm kind of getting like um, uh, a, a reminiscent memory of uh does anyone remember the let's have a look here the iphone 5 debacle right where apple were sending firmware updates to older iphones to slow them down on purpose so that they didn't work as well right and that is a that is a proven fact and i thought to myself Ah, uh, Nikki, you're just being paranoid. Stop being paranoid. Um, you're used to fixing your own tech issues. Just turn vibrate off and everything will be okay. And it was, um, I guess, for another eight months. Um, and then the issue came back, but vibrate wasn't turned on, right? Um, so I turned to the internet again, and similarly, people were having this issue, and they were complaining about, like, um, Garmin customer service, um, and I didn't know what to do. But the people, again, had found a workaround. The workaround this time was, when it froze, all you had to do was plug it into a power socket by its charger and the phone would turn on again. So for a few months, this is what I did. And eventually it got progressively worse. So it would just turn itself off. You know, it went from turning itself off at the end of a ride to turn itself off halfway for a ride, to turn in itself off after 30 seconds. So at this point, I went to Garmin and I said, hey, can I get some help here? Because um, this Instinct Stoller is like two years old. I have never dropped it. I've never crashed wearing it. And even if I had, this is supposed to be like military grade. You're supposed to be able to take this to, um, you know, battle zones. 
not that you want to with the GPS. But anyway, moving on. Um, it's supposed to be, you know, an adventure, do anything, watch, drop it, whatever. It should still work, rugged kind of thing, right? And after two years, it's paperweight. It's completely useless. So I go to Garmin and I'm like, look, um, what can we do about this? Because the technology in this isn't like super advanced, which is why I got it, right? I'd be more worried about Phoenix and the colored screen. This is just like basic technology, basic circuitry, right? Um, worst case scenario is there's a battery problem and that is a procurement issue on Garmin's side, as far as I'm concerned because I never mistreat the battery. I know exactly how to charge my batteries. As I said, I'm quite a tech savvy person. So I've looked after this really well. And this is the response I got from Garmin. There's nothing we can do. If you send us your old Instinct Solar, you can have an Instinct 2X Solar for 7,000 Czech crowns. And I was thinking, okay, so how much is a Garmin Instinct Solar, right? So I go onto Google. A Garmin Instinct Solar, right, has a recommended retail price of 11,000 crowns, but you can buy it everywhere for 7,000 crowns. So not only are they not offering me a choice of color, it's not even discounted over normal retailers. And I have to send them the old watch back, which is a massive inconvenience and cost. So it is cheaper for me to go and buy a new Instinct Solar from a third party, then it would be to send it back to Garmin. But when you look at Garmin's email, they say you don't get, you're not going to get this deal through a third party. This deal only comes through us if you come and exchange it. But there isn't a deal. I'm paying pretty much what I would pay at a retail place the exact same watch and you're not even offering me a choice of color why why would i buy a brand new watch from you when you treat me this poorly seriously